Welcome Aquarius, my name is Rosa and I'm really excited to be bringing you another weekly love read. Grab your beverage of choice, kick back and we're going to see what messages are coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week of whenever you click on this reading. Uh, if you feel that the messages coming through are resonating uh, with you, then be sure to claim this reading by hitting that like button and make sure you stay subscribed, Aqua, especially if you enjoy this reading or my content and you want to catch more, uh, you've got to be subscribed, guys, so you receive the notification updates of every time I release a new video here on the channel, which is usually new ones every week at the moment i've been post posting twice a week so two new reads a week and if you are a returning subscriber guys i appreciate all the love and the support thank you so much for those of you who are you know stopping on by hopefully you get something out of this reading that gives some light to the situation that you're currently experiencing so you've got the the moon reversed the two of wands the eight of pentacles reversed the seven of cups the knight of pentacles in reverse and the knight of wands so we've got two knights here the signs of the person that you could be connecting to here, we've got fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we've got earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we've got the moon card here, major arcana card for Pisces, but I see this as Cancerian energy as well. Mm. Taking a sip of my coffee. Um, okay, give me a moment, Aqua. Alrighty, so very quickly, I'm seeing here that someone might be giving you mixed signals. Yep, someone's giving you mixed signals and you're like, what the hell? Is this person interested? Are they not interested? Do they like me? Do they want something more? Uh, one minute they're here, one minute then they're gone. I can't find them. What the hell? They disappeared. That's what I'm getting. They're giving you mixed signals and you're feeling very confused. Um, I feel that you are already maybe emotionally attached to this person. Uh, and it's kind of affecting your mood with the moon in reverse. I feel that you're trying to suppress your emotions and maybe intellectualize the current situation. For others of you with the Eight of Pentacles, you might be trying to detach from what's going on here, from this person, and just focusing on, you know, all the things in your life, like going to work, doing the grocery shopping, paying the bills, um, you know, all the little day-to-day -day jobs, tasks, activities. You're kind of just sort of redirecting your energy into sort of like the mundane things, if I could put it that way. I feel that this person is distant right now, Aqua. I feel like they're in a position where they're in two minds with the two of wands. The thing is, uh, yeah, they're in two minds. They don't know whether or not to continue on with seeing you or the situation or to whether or not they should just move on. I do feel with the Knight of Wands that this person's moods can change very quickly depending on um, what's going on with them because the Knight of Wands is an energy of someone who shows a lot of interest and passion uh, you know for the things that excite them but that excitement can change very quickly it could be here with the knight of pentacles in reverse that they're not really invested in 
maybe building or taking this connection into something long term. Right now, I just feel things are stagnating because they're at some kind of a crossroad. So let's take a look at this crossroad. What is this crossroad about exactly? Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Judgment. Okay. So with the Judgment and the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like this person is very critical. Uh, I, I feel like they're a bit of a perfectionist, actually. Uh, I'm getting perfectionism. Um, this is someone who has a very critical eye or... I'm getting like... They're overanalyzing this. They're overanalyzing it. But there's the Ace of Cups. So they've started something here with you. But they don't know if you would make a good fit with the judgment in reverse because they're, they're judging very harshly here. They don't know if, even with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, this is inconsistent energy right there. In the upright, it would say consistency. In the reverse, to me, this is inconsistent. They are very inconsistent with how much they're investing into this relationship. And I feel with the judgment card, it's because they don't know whether or not at this point, if like you would be a right fit. That's how it's coming through. Let's get some clarity on the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Swords. They want to move past this, okay? I'm getting the sense that this person is possibly moving away or they're finding it very difficult to move away from you entirely. Let's just grab another card. They're finding it difficult because I feel on some level with the King of Cups, there is an emotional connection. But I feel that they're detaching, they're trying to detach from their emotions and they're finding that a little bit difficult right now. Let's get some clarity on the, mm, let's get some clarity on this Knight of Wands. Okay. What have we got here? Yeah, Six of Pentacles and the Justice in reverse. Everything about these two cards tells me that this person doesn't feel um, it has the potential. It doesn't have the potential to maybe end in marriage or commitment here. They feel that you're on different pages. You're not on the same page. They feel with the Six of Pentacles in reverse that this dynamic is... It's, it's not on the same, it's not the same, like, I can't think of the right words, but there's an imbalance in this connection. Maybe it's, they feel that you both don't want the same things, or... I don't feel like they want to give to this relationship or this connection right now. I feel what's making it hard for them is that they don't want to maybe lead you on or do the wrong thing. Let's have a look at the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Let's get some more messages around the Knight. Six of Wands. Yeah, this person has stopped giving you attention. They could be getting attention from someone else. 
It could be someone else. Yeah, look at this, Eight of Cups. Maybe they feel like the grass is greener on the other side. Let's have a look at your energy. See, Eight of Cups, they feel with the Eight of Cups that this relationship or connection is unsatisfying to them because they're not getting what they need from this relationship. They could be getting it from somewhere else. I'm going to be honest. I feel like they're probably getting it from somewhere else. That may come out into the open with the moon in reverse. And look, Seven of Cups, there may be options surrounding this person. There you are coming through as the star card. I'll just grab three cards. There's the world now, two major arcana cards. Yeah, okay. This is something that you don't expect. I feel like it's going to shake you up a little bit. It might even catch you off guard. But you're going to quickly realize that you deserve better with the world. The star in this spread would indicate healing on your behalf. Okay, so I see you maybe needing to do something here to lift you up and out of this situation. I feel with the star card here, Aquarius, you need to see yourself in a higher light. So does that make sense? Mm. Let's have a look at the energy of your person. Five of Wands, okay. Five of Wands, let me just, yep. Too much drama here, Five uh, page of cups, okay, and the ace of cups. This person doesn't realise, but there's a lot of drama surrounding their energy. They're overly dramatic with their attention. It's like all or nothing with the Ace of Cups. Page of Cups, this is an energy of someone who is maybe emotionally immature or they're young. This is someone who has a crush on you or likes you. But with the Ace of Cups, I don't feel like it's developing in, into anything more than that. It's just, it's something that started here. Um... But I feel like their attention is sort of with the five of wands sort of divvied up elsewhere. Like I, I feel like there's more people surrounding this person and I feel like they're, they're sort of getting swept up in that attention. I feel like with this Ace of Cups, see how this cup is in between these hands? I feel like this person's heart is under lock and key right now. Let's grab some extra messages. Sorry, Aqua, I was just sort of taking in the energy, seeing what else is coming through. What else does Aqua need to know when it comes to this person? Yeah, it's in the two hard basket. This is the three of pentacles, but straight away I'm just looking at that mountain. Hmm. This person is kind of like constantly shifting the goalposts. The moon. The moon can represent fears. And there is some fear here. They're afraid. They're scared. 
Maybe they're scared that you're not gonna make a good team. Six of Wands. Mm, I, I feel like what you don't know or what you can't see here is that this person's getting attention from other people. I just feel that. I really do feel that, Aqua. Let's just get some clarity on the Six of Wands. Spirit, angels, and guys, can we get... Can we expand on the Six of Wands? Ten of Cups. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, Aqua, but I feel I'm like I'm connecting to Aquarians out there who resonate with this message. I really am. And I feel that this person is getting a lot of attention from somebody else. And it's kind of like they're looking at this person, this other person, and they're getting all of their emotional needs met via this other person or persons. Okay, there's someone else that's fulfilling them. Okay, four of wands in reverse. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, with the four of wands in reverse, I don't feel that's going to go anywhere either. Because, yeah, there's someone else that satisfies them or is fulfilling them but i don't feel like that's solid could just be temporary i mean we do have the page of cups here in their energy so it's early days all right aqua so they're your messages hopefully this was insightful and helpful and until next time take care my loves